Hello, Guillermo. Hi, Lisette. Welcome to the class. How was your day, Hello, Guillermo? Teacher. It was so good. So good. good. Thank you. It was nice. It was nice. I had a lot of free time. <laughs> so I, I had the chance of doing different things I needed to do. When do you have your days off, Guillermo? When are your days uh, off? Tomorrow and the next day too. Tomorrow, Thursday, right? Yeah. Thursdays and, Thursday and, Friday. and Friday. So you have to work the weekends. <laughs> Wow. Yes. Do you like it? Is it like something you are used to doing? Uh, a little bit, yes. <laughs> it's a great that because they have the opportunity for uh, meet a lot of people. Yeah, uh -huh, I imagine. But we adapt, right? We get used to different schedules. Okay, that's good. Good to know that, Guillermo. And what about you, Lisette? Did you work today? Are you there? Yes, I work. You did? Work what is your day. schedule? My what? Schedule, horario, schedule. Uh, what do you say, rotativo? Flexible. It is flexible. It I would send it in the uh, For example, this week, can you tell us the days you work, the time? In this week, um, six thirty a.m. is my, como diría mi horario de entrada? Um, you can say I start, I start working at um, 6.30. At mm -hmm. 6.30. At um, 6.30. At 6.30. I work at 4 p.m. And you finish at four, but you started at six and a half. Very early, they said. Yes. You have to wake up around five, five thirty, five forty-five. So it's mm. it's early. Yes, it's early. Can you tell me your profession or occupation? What do you do? I am a treasurer in a financial uh, financial institution. Yeah, financial in a financial institution. Ah, okay. Financial institution. You work with numbers. <laughs> a lot of numbers. Yes. Mm, okay, yes. I didn't know. That is new. But in a moment. You will be free and you can go and, and, and sleep or rest, Lisette. You will have time to, to rest. But good to have you here, Lisette. I go in to sleep to 9.30 p.m. Uh-huh, yes. After the class, go to sleep. Not in the class, later. <laughs> so try not yes. to fall asleep during yeah. the class. <laughs> Okay, Lisette. So, hi guys, welcome to the class. Good to have you here. I think you have played this game in Spanish, right? Or maybe in English too. In English, this game is called Stop the Bus. I'm going to give you a letter and you have to think about the following things. An animal, for example, if I say letter B, you have to think about one animal with letter B. Pool, for example, a place with letter B. Uh, Bel, Belgian, 
missing something here, but okay, I will continue an adjective with be, and then you continue. You have to add everything here. Okay, vamos a hacer este juego de, de vocabulario. En, en inglés se llama stop the bus, en español es bachillerato stop, right? Yo les voy a decir la letra y ustedes tienen que pensar en un animal, en un place, en un adjective que empiece con esa letra, food y un verb con esa letra. If you finish, say stop. Y si ustedes terminan, dicen stop. El primero que termine dice eso y ahí paramos. Y continuamos con la siguiente letra. Is it clear or do you have questions? Clear. It's clear. clear. Okay. Let's begin. Letter C. Letter C, guys. Remember, as soon as you finish, say stop. No más terminen, dicen stop. El primero que termine lo dice. Oh. Wow, that was fast, Robert. Animal with C? Cat. Cat, place? City. A city, an adjective? Adjective, I uh, really, I don't know, adjective for me is climb. Which one? For example, cold, Robert. Cold is an adjective. Oh, okay. it's, it's a word that describes something. That will be one. Food? Carrot. Uh -huh. And verb? Climb. Yes. Excellent. Okay, Robert. Okay. Excellent job. Now it's your turn. Choose the letter. Escoja la letra. A. A as in... Anna, right? Yes. Okay, guys, letter A. Hello, Vane, Vane Carolina. We are playing Stop the Bus. You have to think about an animal, place, adjective, food, and a verb with letter A. When you finish, you have to say stop, Vane. Tiene que pensar en unas, en estas cosas que aparecen acá, pero con la letra A. Y cuando termine, tiene que decir stop. That is what we are doing. Stop the bus, the bus. Excellent, Angelica. Okay, tell us. Animal. Uh, ant. Uh, and place. Argentina. Argentina. Adjective. Uh, angel. Angry or angel. Or, or angel. Or angry, angry. Angry. Ah, okay. Angry. Okay, and food. Apple, apples, and verb, arrive, 
arrive. Okay, correct. Thank you, Angelica. Now it's your turn. What is the next letter? The last one. Mm, with letter mm, E. Letter E. Okay, here it is. Thank you, Angelica. Okay. Okay, Robert. So let's check. What is the animal? Elephant. Elephant. Place? England. England. Adjective? Adjective. Uh, exciting. Exciting oh. or excited. Yeah. Correct. Food? Eggs. Eggs. And verb? Uh, exercise. Exercise. Okay, Robert. Thank you. Good job. Okay, guys, let's go on. That's just like a vocabulary game to remember different words. Yesterday, we couldn't finish the activity about describing different people. That is why I'm going to continue with that. And we will listen to at least one participant of the group. Okay. You can see the picture here. And hold on. One moment. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Haiti, Eric, and Alfredo are not here, right? No hay nadie de ellos acá. Then Catherine, Lisette, and Marlon. Did you, did you share with us your, your uh, description? Los tengo acá que no lo dieron, pero no sé si me equivoqué. Lo describieron ayer, Lisette. No. No, OK. Can you guys continue? No sé si usted lo tiene, Lisette, or somebody else, the description. Sí, lo tengo. You have it, okay. Who are you describing? Uh, our description is Laila. Laila, okay. What can you tell us Laila. about Laila? Laila is very intelligent and smiling. She has a red long hair and she wears glasses. She has oval face and a straight nose and thin lips and she has green eyes, also a small hair. Okay, very oh, yeah. well, very good. Uh -huh, very good description, Lisette. And do you have the other one? Do you have the second? the second person or description? Only person. Only one, okay. Laila. Okay, no problem, yes. but thank you, Lisette. Now, Angelica, Guillermo, yes. and Vane Ramirez. Can you continue? Okay, teacher. Okay, just tell me the person you are going to describe and then you can start. Ruby. Ruby. Okay, I see it here. Okay, uh, Ruby, she is an elder woman with brunette skin and long gray hair. 
Also, she wears uh, sunglasses. She has uh, brown eyes and a long nose with full lips. She is very sweet and kind person. Thank you, Angelica. Thank you very much. Just one question. Did you say sunglasses? Yes. Como lentes de sol. Sunglasses. Yes. O lentes de sol. Ah, ok. Son clases, si es en ese sentido, yes, that's the one. Ah, okay. Porque estos okay. serían yes. I, I clases. Ok. Ok, thank you, Angelica, good description. Guillermo, can you read your description, please? Yes, I'm going to describe to Lucy. Lucy. Uh, well, uh -huh. Lucy seems to be so friendly. Um, he has a uh, oval face. He has mm -hmm. uh, uh, yellow hair and a white skin. Um, uh, thin lips. Um, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent job, Guillermo. Just one change. When the, the hair is yellow, in English, we use blonde. She is blonde. Or blondie. That's another option. When it's yellow, that would be the, the right way to say it. So just that change. But besides that, you did amazing. Thank you. And then we have Vanessa Ramirez. Do you have yours, Vanessa? OK, teacher. Um... Kai. 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 Uh -huh. Yeah. He looks like Johnny Depp. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. In he, cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> he has brown hair. And he he has a person honest and friendly. He looks uh, like a kind person and, and his white skin, white skin and, and, and he seems a kind person only. Uh -huh. He seems like a kind person and I don't know, like a player. That could be another thing I see in your eyes. Do you know that word, player? Player es en este sentido okay. como, como el que, como alguien que se cuentea a las chicas. Ok. Yo veo también, like a player. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, honey. Thank you okay, very much. Can... Am I missing someone? Me falta un grupo según mis notas, pero no sé si me habré equivocado. I only have here, según mis notas, me falta Heidi, Eric, and Alfredo. Am I missing somebody else? Hay alguien más que se me quede, by mistake? No. Vane, Vane Carolina. Vane, ¿con quién estaba trabajando? No me acuerdo. <laughs> ah, ok. Es que hubo un grupo que ya no lo pude escuchar ayer. No sé si fue el de Eric. Este, no, yo no estuve ayer. Ah, ah, por eso. Ah, ok, but yeah. if you want to describe someone, you can do it. Si quiere tratar de describir a alguien, you can do it. Do you want to try? Yesterday Ay. we had this activity. Ayer tuvimos una actividad grupal. Esa es la que estábamos terminando ahorita. Oh. Mm -hmm. But if you want to give it a try, you can do it. Si usted quiere intentar describir a alguien, lo puede hacer. Do you want to? ¿Quiere tratar? Do you want to try? Yeah. She is Hailey. Who? 
Who here I read? Hey. I'm sorry. Please repeat. Hailey. Hailey. You want to describe mm -hmm. Hailey. Okay. Hailey is here. <risa> or if you want to you can send it to me after class o si usted quiere lo puede hacer luego de la clase y me lo envía you can send it to me Bunny. ok that could be another possibility if you wish es otra posibilidad pero si no la podemos hacer acá however you okay. prefer what do you prefer ¿Qué prefiere usted Okay, Bunny. Okay, that's that's good. Let's let's continue in that case. Um, in English. One second. Okay, so here we have again we have different people. And we have the description. We have the descriptions. We have to read the description and choose the person. In English, we have this phrase. One moment. She has got to. Um, give me one. Has. Got. Has got to in English is equal to have, is the same. That is why you can see over here this. She's got, she's got, it means she has. That is what it means. No sé si han escuchado esta, esta frase, has got to or have got to, que usualmente se oye como no. gotta. I gotta go. I, no sé si han escuchado alguna vez eso. I got to go. Como me tengo que ir. I, like this. I have to. Vaya, les voy a explicar para que sepan aquí cómo usar. Ok. We have the word have. Have to, right? This is, this word is casual. It's a casual word, okay? She has long hair, but you have another option. Option number two, more informal. Has or have got to is the same as have, have to. But this one is more informal, more informal. So option one, she has long hair. Option two, she, contraction, she is, Got long hair. It's the same. It's the same sentence, but I'm using an informal, an informal option. And I use the contraction. Has. Contraction. It's got to. She has got to. Sorry. Long hair. But I contracted this too. Okay. Hay dos maneras de decirlo. El have. Pueden usar el este, ¿verdad? Que sería como una casual word. Y ten, tienen esta frase de acá, que es una, como una forma más informal de decirlo. 
Así como acá, she has long hair, está bien, pero también está de esta manera más informal, que es lo mismo, pero estoy utilizando esta expresión. She's got long hair. Y estoy usando la contraction de she has. Utilizo apostrophe en diez para ya no poner las dos palabras. Pero estoy diciendo en realidad lo mismo. She has. Like here. Ok, the sentences. She's got short gray hair. Ok, what does it mean? ¿Qué significaría? She has short hair. Bla, 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 bla. Ok, it's the same. Just another possibility. Es lo mismo, solo que es una manera más informal de decirlo. Pero todo este es, es el has. Just the informal option. Ok, just in case you see it. Para que lo, cuando lo vean, lo comprendan qué quiere decir. Cuando lo vean acá. So let's try. You have to read the description and you have to tell me who he or she is. Vamos a leer la descripción y luego me van a decir quién sería. Number one. She's got short gray hair and white glasses. Please send me a private message. Envíenme un mensaje privado, please. Send me a private message with your opinion. Con su opinión. A private message. We will wait one moment. Okay. Ahí también tienen una opción para que sea un, un private message. Y ahí solo yo lo voy a poder. Ok, thank you, Mario. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. And now, Hazel, what about you? What do you think? Who is that person, Hazel? Are you there, Hazel? Uh, yes, uh, Alice. Alice, too. Ah, okay. You just sent the message, right? Okay, thank you. So, yes, guys, Alice is the number one. Now, number two, she's got a ponytail. She's got a ponytail and pink glasses. Who's that person? A ponytail and pink glasses. Thank you, Angelica, Tati, okay, Catherine. Okay. And let's listen to Tati. What about you, Tati? Can you tell us your answer? Number two? Sally? Sally, uh-huh, that's the one. This is the ponytail, guys. When you have your hair like that, That's a ponytail, this, this hairstyle. It's called ponytail. El estilo de peinado. Mm -hmm. Ese peinado con la cola alta. Okay. That's a ponytail. Okay, number three. She's got short curly hair and green eyes. Is that girl? Short, curly hair, and green eyes. Okay, thank you for the message. And let's listen to Mario. What do you think? Linda. Linda, right? Yes, Linda. Thank you. Correct. Linda is the one. So remember, curly hair is like this. That's curly curly hair. Okay, next one. She's got wavy blonde hair and blue eyes. Wavy blonde hair and blue eyes. So. Excellent. Yes, Fanny. Sophie, and you guys are right. Next, she's got straight blonde hair and black glasses. 
Who's that girl? Straight blonde hair and black glasses. Okay, thank you guys. It is Jenny. Okay, and number six, she's got short red hair and black glasses. Short red hair and black glasses. Number six. And Haiti, can you tell us the last one? Who's that girl? Just activate the microphone. May. It's May. May. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Okay, thank you. Do you have a question? Is there something you would like to ask, guys? Questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. No questions. No questions. Okay, sounds good. I'm going to give you some information for the next activity. Okay, give me one, one more. I'm going to add some info here. Number one. We'll have in number two, eighty, number three, B, but number four, restaurant. Number five, it's going to be exercise. Okay, what do you have to do? You're going to work in groups and you have to create a story using the words that are here. Okay, and again, it will be at least 50 words, okay? You have to use all of them. The five words you see here in a story using thin, lady, but restaurant and exercise. And the story needs to have 50 words. Is it clear, guys? Do you have any questions about this activity? Do we understand? ¿Sí entendemos yes. qué vamos a hacer? Okay, todos estamos claros? Yes. Yes, you yes. are. Okay, I'm going to team you up in this moment. We will work in groups of three. And I'll give you about 10 minutes. At 8.44, we will return up to 10 minutes. If you finish before, let me know, okay? Si terminan antes, me lo dicen. Si no, 8.44, we will return. We will return to this main room.
Hi, Amanda. Hello. How are you? Are you there, Amanda? Um, Amanda, we yes. are. Hello. I am here. Ah, okay. So, we are working on an activity in this moment. Your classmates okay. are in other rooms. I'm going to go one moment. I'm going to come okay. back in about four minutes. They, okay. they are describing, this is what we are doing. They are creating a story using the words that you see on the whiteboard. If you want to okay. try, you can try to do it and then you can send it to me by chat while you wait. Okay. If you wish, you can, mm -hmm. you can do that. Okay, Amanda, okay. I'm going to I'm going to see you in one moment. See you. Okay. Ahí, ahí está. Sí, game. Hi guys. Uh -huh. Sorry to Hi, interrupt. Teacher. How Hi, are you teacher. doing? Do you need help? Do you have any questions? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. No teacher. No teacher. No question. Ah, okay. And how is the story going? Are you ready? Um, no. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Would you need more time? Creen que van a necesitar más tiempo. Se supone que regresamos en two minutes. Sí, necesitaríamos un poco más. Maybe, yeah. Okay. Let me check with your classmates, okay? But you can continue. I'll see you in one moment. Y empezó a hacer ejercicio. Hello. Y empezó a hacer. Hello, Sorry, teacher. Anne. Do you need any help? I'm just checking on you. Is there something I could help you with? Questions? Guillermo, mm. Wendy? No. No. No question. No for the moment, teacher. Okay, and how is the story? Is it ready? The story? It, 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 it's like that uh, there was a list with Gershaw, but who like eat a lot of in different places around of the world. But this mm -hmm. girl have a dream and washing her routine for half a different form and she will to have a dean a dean form oh, okay so you're you're finished you're done uh, well uh, we we create a uh, difference uh, different histories and um, and take the most important for for create uh, only one history for all. Ah, oh, okay, all right, that's good. I'm just going to visit two more rooms and I will send you the, the request to return. Okay, so I'm going to see you in one moment, guys. Okay, teacher. See, one day we go to eat a restaurant in downtown and we ordered our favorite food. Después de eso no la anoté. Pero, o sea, sí lo anoté donde decía, we feel fat, and later we make two exercises together. Hi, guys. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Do you need help? Do you have questions? Or... You're good. Yes. You're okay. Ah, okay. All right. Excellent. In that case, I'm going to leave. Uh, are you done? Ya terminaron ustedes acá. No, todavía falta un poquito. Ah, okay. All right. So maybe in about two minutes. In about two minutes, we will return. Okay. Okay. See okay. you in one moment. Okay. palabra. Thank you. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you? 
Can I help you? ¿Cómo se dice? Eh, eh, se prepara o se alista para ir al trabajo. She gets ready. She, I will send it in the chat. She gets ready. Sorry. Gets to go to work. She gets ready to go to work. And how is your story? ¿Qué tal va su historia? Are you almost done? Ya casi termina. Mm, no. <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe in about two minutes. In about two minutes, we will return. Okay. Because okay. of the time. Okay, guys. Any other questions? No sé si tienen otra pregunta before I leave. Mm, no. No. Okay. So in two no. minutes, we will return. Okay. See you in okay. a moment. Okay. Bye. Hi, Amanda. How are you doing? Could you create the, the story? Hi, Robert. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? Uh, we, we make a history. Mm -hmm. It's a short history. It's very funny. Okay, that sounds good. A funny story. Well, everyone is back. We can listen to your stories. We will listen to Angelica, Heidi, Tati, and Vane. Who, who will start? Angelica. Me, teacher. Okay, Angelica. Yes. Uh, our story is, uh, there is a lady who eats a lot in restaurants and doesn't wear her work uniform because she's got fat. Now she must do exercise to get thin again and wear her uniform. Okay. Okay, excellent. Excellent job. So the girl needs to do exercise, right? Because the, yes. the uniform doesn't fit her anymore. Thank you, Angelica, for the story. And thank you, Heidi, Tati, and Vane. Okay, group number two. Guillermo, Monica, Vane Carranza, and Wendy Lopez. Can you listen? Can you read your story, please? Me, teacher. Okay, Vani. Go ahead. There, there was a Elizabeth Adair so fat who liked it a lot in different places around of the world of the world. But this girl had a dream and was changed her routine for have different form and she will to have a thing for. She visited to the gym, she does exercise. <laughs> she does exercise. That's good. 
Thank you, Vane, for reading the story. And yes, I listened you use the words that you needed to use. So thank you, Guillermo, Monica, and Wendy. Now we continue with group number three, Hazel, Lisette, and Robert. Okay. Um, si quiere continuo error. Es que hola no note. Ah vaya. <laughs> Ahora. One day we go to eat a restaurant in downtown, and we ordered our favorite favorite food, junk food, hamburgers and fries. We will fat. And later we make two exercise together only. Okay, thank you, Hazel. Hazel, did you use the word lady? Utilizaron la palabra lady. No. No, right. I didn't listen to it. But thank you. Uh -huh. It was well. Very good job. Just at the beginning, Hazel, pueden utilizar one day we went. The past form of the verb go, we went. Okay, thank okay. you guys. Now, Catherine, Mario, and Vane. Vane Rivera, can you continue, please? Catherine, can you read the story? Okay. Okay. Carla is a lady thing. Okay. She get up at 5 a.m. o'clock every day. She goes to the gym to do a exercise routine. Come back to the house at 6 a.m. Then, then take a shower and she get ready to go to work. She usually eats in a restaurant and always eats healthy for doesn't be fat. Ah, okay, so that's good. She does exercise. That way she is uh, slim all the time. Thank you, Catherine. And, and you guys for the, the stories. It is difficult sometimes to create the sentences or the stories, but you did it well. Okay, before we go, I have some, some questions to ask you, but we will raffle it. I'm going to write a number on my hand. Tengo un número en mi mano. If you guess the number, you have to speak about one topic for 30 seconds. Si ustedes adivinan el número que tengo en mi mano, El que lo adivine va a hablar de un tema random, ¿verdad? Al azar, por 30 segundos, ¿ok? To practice the speaking ability, para que practiquemos improvisar y speaking, right? Que todos queremos hablarlo. Ok, let's begin with Vane Carolina. A number from one to five. Un número del uno al cinco. Número five. Number five. No. Okay, Robert. Number two. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mario, a number, please. Are you there, Mario? Mario, Mario, hello, hello. No, okay. Angelica. Nine. But from one to five, the Luno, I'll see. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, four? No, but thank you, Angelica. Okay, let's try with Hazel. A number, please, Hazel. You have two options. You have one and three. One and three, Hazel. One. Yes, that's the one. Number one. Okay, Hazel. 
You have to speak about concerts. Are Repeat, you please. Concerts. Talk about concerts. Anything you want to say. Lo que usted quiera decir sobre conciertos, concerts. 30 seconds. Solo 30 pequeños segundos. Okay. Very, very short. Ready? Ready. Okay, go. I remember that when when was my 18th birthday, I was to concert to Mana Band with my sister and with my uncle and we have a good night uh, next to the concert we we went to eat uh, to midnight excellent okay hazel <laughs> good job thank you okay so let's continue the same thing okay vamos a hacer la misma dinámica okay now Catherine Reyes. A number, Catherine? Mm, two. Yes. That's the one, number two. <laughs> number two, Catherine. Okay. Your hobbies. Your hobbies, Catherine. 30 seconds. Okay. My hobbies, I like to to read a books and watch TV, for example, Netflix. I like to go out with my family, for example, the, the beach. I, I love the beach. And I, I like to see, how do you say, paisajes naturales? Landscapes, natural landscapes. Not natural landscapes, and I want I like share with my friends. Excellent. Okay, good job. And I will send it by chat, so you have the word natural landscapes. But great. Okay, you you made it. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, now let's continue. I'm yes. going to add here a fruit. Okay. Not a number, a fruit. Va a ser una fruit. Let's begin with Monica. <clears throat> Tell us a fruit, Monica, please. Are you there, Monica? Wendy? One fruit, Wendy? Watermelon? No, <laughs> it's not that one. Thank you. Now let's try with Lisette. Apple? Apples. No, but thank you. Let's see, Tati. Can you tell us a fruit? Banana. Banana? No, not bananas. Thank you. And because of the time, we will finish here, like, like the idiom says, saved by the bell, salvados por la campana, así. Si no quería, <laughs> se cumplió. So guys, we will stop here and tomorrow we continue with the class, okay? Have a good night to all of you. Good to see you in the class. Sweet dreams, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.